Hello YouTubers, how you doing? Guys, hope you're doing great, cause we've got some more fight for our right to repair. One customer have booked in through the book repair online, .co.uk, five laptops. And we will do today one. One which is an HP one. I don't know the model, you probably know because I'm putting these models into the um, title. So this has an i5 8th generation. I think it's 16 gig of RAM and Windows 11. So that's a free scratch here and there, but in general, you know, you can say it's quite good luck. Yes, it's not a bad for sure. Like you can do most of the work. Now the rest of that's another job. Now the rest of the laptops, I don't know because I haven't checked them. I only seen booking five laptops, so we agreed that he will pop in with them just you know like we get some chargers, not to all of them. One, two, three chargers we got. Now we got and another one, Aces, or oh, more scratches. Looking okay. I don't know what is with these. That's i3, but doesn't state any generation or anything or whatever. Oh yeah, that's a fourth generation I see here because it's 4000 series, yes, on the sticker. So if you've got those numbers, like several numbers on the model of the CPU on the Intel ones, you know automatically what generation it is. So it's a fourth generation of i3, 1.7 gig. Uh, but this has only 4 gig of RAM. So if so, that would be nice to increase the RAM up to 8 gig if possible, yes? So that was what we could check. Don't see any reason to not put one over the another one. Now this, it's an HP laptop. And that's an older one, because I don't see any blue ports on the USB. So... Yeah, that's, that's an older laptop for sure. I would say that could be Core to Duo or something, or some AMD maybe, this time. No, doesn't say, key is missing. Ooh, that's Windows 7, could be. Could be uh, something like Core to Duo or something on AMD. Turion or something, Dell, another Dell, and another Dell, again Windows 7, okay, that's Inspiron N5010, whoa, look how shiny, SRS Premium Sound, Inspiron, nice looking laptop to be true, that's a nice looking laptop, <clears throat> we had a Gangnam style song before putting voice to the bed so you can imagine that my voice is you know okay and we've got i5 another i5 and it's a dell pro support okay so some dell i don't know what the exact model it is but it is on window ah okay latitude e5530 on i5 so that will be um based on the things i see here that will be an old version of i5 yes yeah? so up to the fourth version i'd say Ooh. let's look see i'll put it here Hinges, guys, hinges. Yes, here is smooth, but they've got to loose. These hinges are used. <coughs> if you've got used hinges, guys, one, you can neglect it, 
Yes, just use it until you will see something not funny anymore or to replace it. Now, few things. If you will neglect it, you might be lucky and, you know, just okay. Or you might be in the group of non-lucky people. And those non-lucky people ending up with damaging more than just hinges. Yes, yeah? so during the repair then I'm re repairing the hinges replacing the hinges i'm not welding this these hinges uh, but that's what's happening and sometimes i'm re repairing other stuff as well or part of the enclosure because if something is loose usually it's more than just hinges usually there can be some screw loosen up in the enclosure and that's working you know always banging off those two you know they're just banging 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 and pulling, ripping off, tearing apart, you know, some element. And that's why that's the unlucky group of people. That's why if you hear some sound in your engine, you will do probably if you're a, you know, like good driver and you care about your vehicle, then you will do something about the sound. You won't be driving until this car will stop. Yes. If you drive until this car is stopped, you will learn with the next thing that you will do quicker because you, the cost of it, it's higher. Same stuff here. That's why it's a second episode of IT, yes, here on this YouTube channel. And I can say to you that you've got a good lesson based only on this. So you see, even not opening these laptops, yes, it, it just, you know, just to have a wee look what's in it yes so let's put them back because we're, we're looking only after one today and the issue with that laptop is that it has quite loud noise okay quite a loud noise uh, so i need to check how loud noise because yeah i roughly know those noises my boys don't sleep. Should I go to them? No, but seriously, you know, they should be sleeping after nine and they are still not sleeping. Be right back. So we will see for how long I came back. Yeah. So now with this patient, should we take for granted that customer said something and it is yes. Well, depends on what customer said. I'll go to book repair online and I'll start the repair. Yes, I will just uh, put from the incoming new repairs, new booked in repairs to the uh, uh, undergoing work. Yes, tablet, somebody have just booked in a tablet tablet or iPad. Somebody had booked me an iPad. I didn't know about it. Literally, I just see it. I remember I've spoken with one customer actually. Oh well, another repair we will have. Device serial number, didn't bother. Okay, well, I'll update it. No problem. So let's take the first one. It's HP. What is it? <sighs> no candles, sorry. And there is several of the of them HP. I can't see. <laughs> okay. Whereas you some glass. Oh I can see. It's 250 G7. Do we have such item? 250 G7. 250 G7. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Laptop, all types. Okay. There's only one. HP laptop model 250 G7 running Windows 11. Please check if running smoothly. So fun, a bit noisy. This one I will get it to. Doesn't matter. No, that's just private stuff. That's okay. Let's move it to undergoing work. Okay, 
Let's crack it open. <laughs> no, we won't be cracking it open unless we will see something suspicious. Okay, so let's get this Xbox dust off the way because it was too many Xboxes to repair and I still have. Where is the main? I put it to the other room. Okay, so anyways, let's switch it off maybe. Alright, so for now I won't be switching to the SLR, okay? I won't. It's my remote to my uh, audio amplifier has dropped. Let's switch the patient on. Okay, let's see if we've got any charger for the HP. Okay, it went okay, that's Asus. That's Dell. That's HP. What's that? It's a half of the battery, so it should be okay. Oh, and that's the charger. So okay. We can we can work without it. Now as customer said the fan is noisy. We we can't literally hear any fan at the moment. Okay, but it is really mild. Like if I'll shut myself down, down, sorry, if I'll shut myself down, I might catch you. Where is the sound meter? Here is a sound meter. Guys, when I'm talking, it suddenly goes into 70, 80 decibels. Okay? When I'm not talking, check for yourself. I didn't want you to look at the commercial. Sorry, I will fix the commercial. So as we see on the idle mode, it's completely fine. Now <clears throat> I'll log in to my network. Okay. Wi-Fi. Oh, 5G. Let's see. If I would remember my password, okay, you know what? I'll speed it up. Uh, I will just put the password and I'll come back to you. Be right back. Okay, so I've connected to the network. <coughs> now I don't see here anything installed, so it's like empty laptop. I prefer Google Chrome, but this is Edge or something else here. Yeah, Microsoft Edge. Let's go to YouTube. I said to the customer that if he if he's willing to give this to some other person to use and that there is a chance that that person will have um, a non like non secure way of using it that means it will be providing the card details or some you know some other stuff which is non secure then it would be better to put um, just pretty much some security, yes? Norton, Kaspersky, you know, just anything. It's better than nothing. So I've got, I think, two licenses of Kaspersky internal security. Uh, and, you know, we can install that one. But we need a no 4k no what does the screen say it's okay 4k video video 
sound hole. Sound. Costa Rica. Ultra HD. Let's shut it down, okay? Because <laughs> why not? And let's skip that. And let's put maximum resolution. We can put 4K two one six zero sixty, guys. So that should trigger the higher performance of the fan. Let's put the task manager as well. And now we're talking, guys. Now we're talking. Now we've got CPU is not. It's about twenty eight forty seven percent. I'll show you maybe. Yes, so I've used Control Alt, Control Alt, and then delete. Yes, single time, and there was Task Manager, and I've opened it and look, the CPU is not bad. We're talking here, 4K, um, 4K resolution. Yes, with 60 frames. So GPU, you know, it's not bad idle on intel graphic card so this is a good laptop guys this is a really good laptop video with the code video processing see how high memory it's no problem gpu memory is 3.9 gig and memory is only 8 gig it's not 16 okay i thought it's 16 but anyway or maybe it's like 12 because i don't know if the memory is used i don't know what the graphic card is here okay died oh well i should plug it to the power smart <clears throat> yeah so we can do the induction or how you call it that in, in in Polish we get induktia, induction. I don't know if that's called as well in English. I'll double check. Let it turn on. That's my fault. That's induction. Yeah, I was right. The induction. But anyways, so yeah. Now it's on a charge. But I'm worried why why suddenly this battery was showing about 40% and then it just dropped. Now 1% available. Okay. Okay, 4K. So let's observe these. I don't see any abnormalities for now. It is a lag here, lag there, but it's it's nothing you know like extraordinary. I would expect that from this kind of laptop, you know. So to sum up, we're using almost all memory because we're using five gig of memory, yes. It's an SSD drive, so the usage of the drive is okay. Uh, GPU, Intel UHD, yes, okay, so that has integrated Intel graphics. Okay, so it's not a great laptop, it's a good laptop, okay, so it's like in, in between. Not a great, not a bad, it's, you know, like a so-so. If the person won't be doing a hard gaming on it, but just, you know, like a more of a office type of use or watch a bit of a YouTube, do some stuff online, then it's fine. I think my Forge of Empires should work quite well on this, to be true. Yeah, okay, it has some lags, but that's what it is. It's an integrated Intel graphic, graphics, yes? It's a 620 model Intel UHD graphics. It has, it has small lags. It, I wouldn't call it a pleasure to watch if you watch and you get lags watch and you get lags. 
but it's still not noisy is the same noise level what we have before CPU is not overused, disk is not overused, I mean the SSD. Wi-Fi is showing okay, it has its own peaks, but it's a 5G, so it's okay. And the GPU is severely used, like at least 68, 87%, you know, like, like really use it. Sometimes it's just dropping lower. So yes, definitely, I would advise customer to think about increasing the RAM to 16 gigabytes, yes? Because that will leave half of the memory better used. But when you use more of your RAM memory, swap memory has to be more used. When you've got more of your RAM memory, now the swap partition is used less in the Linux or in the Windows, the swap file is less used. That's why Windows have smoother performance. That's why using 5.5 gig right now out of 7.9 gig of the memory, that is bad. <clears throat> so my advice will be for the customer to consider increasing the memory or use it, that person who will be using it, using it and observe. If they are happy with the performance, leave it, yes? And I need to check for this to, you know, what's the maximum upgrade. How I'm doing it is I'm going to, usually I'm going to one of the websites, um, like, I'll check because I've got a few of them. And I'm just checking, you know, what's, what's the maximum they can go for, yes? Okay, I've got it. For instance, crucial. Yes, only when you see those add, yes, don't click on add because that's their ad, they have to pay for it, okay? And if you're not willing to buy, that's, no, that's not fair. Do you want to pay more later? Because you will have to pay more if they pay more. So, don't do it. Don't be dafty. Now if I would only remember, I would only remember, run a scan, okay, ukcrucial.com. Let it run here. No fans. Okay, so yes, it's you can you can see the lags. I'm not used to this keyboard setup, so I can't go like that. Come on, come on, come on. I know we've got it. We are pulling here. Skip ad. Run a scan. And we will see. Accept all cookies. We will see what is the maximum we can support. So uk.crucial.com is one of those websites where I'm going to. Now. My advice for the customer will be, because we agreed only on the internal security and check, you know, how it performs. So for me, this performance is slightly too low to what I want for this laptop. Because it has this Intel graphic card, yes? Open file. So you go to the ukcrucial.com, you click to run the scan, you need to download small, fi small file, accept it by clicking yes. Or you could just check your model to be true, you know. Okay, so they are finding your compatible upgrades, yes. Anytime, anytime. Okay. Still not. You see, it's, it's taking its time, yes? Anything else here? Yes, I will, I will install the uh, 
I will install the Kaspersky, I will put the license on, uh, but I want to check this memory. Okay, RAM and SSD upgrades, good, and error, <laughs> an error. <laughs> Oh, wait, sorry, this scan is no longer saved in your system. Trying our system scanner, scan complete, your disk can ultimately apply, check out. Yes, but you know, the, the only problem. Click here to run a new scan on your system. It's they don't allow anymore or what or limited time offer fifteen percent off. Still the same. Okay, now it's from the crucial website, not from the UK website we will see if that will be any different no if that won't help then unfortunately crucial is not the way to go you can either browse model by manufacturers and the model or you can go to another website which is not crucial and as well look for you know like a ram upgrades yes and they will have the same thing it's still uh, it's still a problem so we need to type Okay, so it is HP two fifty G seven HP two fifty G seven Max RAM. That's what I'm doing. Sixteen gigabytes. It's stating here clearly. You see that's the maximum. Can you see it? Somehow maybe. I think you can see but anyways you know so that's how quickly you can do it literally instead of you know going for those tools you've got a comparison now you can judge yourself if you get a model just put the model on put max ram and google is showing you yes <clears throat> and by the way that's on ukcrucial.com <laughs> if that wouldn't be you know just before unsuccessful but anyways so that's what you see now you can say okay no problem so you know how much does it cost now you can buy this of good brand you know like crucial is or you can go and you can let's say uh, buy something on ebay yes so it's a ddr4 here and now the question is how many slots are free if any because if there are two slots one is this actually no there are there is a one slot and the second one is soldered to the main board and there is one empty one then you can buy 8 gig of ram which is on crucial website it's 3359 including vat just the shipping cost probably will be something and on ebay you can get cheaper excuse me including other brands yes like Kingston or something uh, or risk like cheaper one but uh, take into consideration that cheaper RAM uh, can be can mean lower speed as well so if you want to speed up your computer do you want to save up 10 quid or even 15 quid do you want to save up it is it worth to saving up those 10 15 quid for the lifespan of this laptop I wouldn't say it's a value so I would not go for the cheapest unless you know that the cheaper one cheaper one's performance is still okay yes so that's that's what I would do but you know different strokes for different folks yes uh, okay so you can worry about it when we'll cross the bridge with the customer yes but for now it's it's okay and uh, now I still didn't hear the fan okay so we can check fun in two ways Kaspersky internet 
turn up security download here official Kaspersky multi device protection um, uh, uh, we don't take ad uh, learn more have a license for free devices customer can have for one where is a download please download Hmm. Download internet security. Here it is. Kaspersky for Windows. Global. Caribbean. European Union. Well, we're not in the European Union. Kiss. And somebody can comment that's Russian. And that, that would be a valid point, you know, that would be a valid point. But, yes, uh, but I would have questions to those people which question this. One, do you have better option? Um, if you do, go for it. If you don't, just do it. At the end of the day, you're buying electronics. If you buy any electronics, these electronics require natural resources. These natural resources are not endless. They come with a cost. Some people died, some people are dying right now, and some people will die to get these resources. There were wars, there are wars, and wars will be. When you will check, you will see that where there were wars, and now there are mines to dig those natural resources, you will come into one and only conclusion. You're a culprit. You are. I am as well. I'm no better than you. So, can we do something about it? Yes. We can fight for our right to repair. We can build fixable electronics and make sure that those small repair shops who are capable of doing these jobs will do the best possible quality job that will allow us buy less of new equipment and that's on to you if you will do it or not turn on protection against ads and install only desired software and blog additional information delete malicious tools adware detect other software that can be used by criminals take a tour now i heard a fan during the installation as i said that that would trigger okay um now i'll activate the trial version of the application okay skip and that now database update yes you should yes you should update it then it will automatically update and which is good it's Kaspersky is not annoying you to the level that other can so that's a good thing it's not the lightest as well that's true but at least it's doing a good job and for years I've got no complaints about Kaspersky yes sometimes I was using additional software and now our CPU is 88% look 60 70 80 50 See, that's, that's what it is. That's what's happening. Now, CPU went down because it done the job. Memory is half because it's 3.9 gig. 
4 GPU is just just a bit so yeah database are up to date cool we get a Kaspersky I won't be activating the license yet I will pass on the license to the customer uh, in the book wrapper online and I will I think it's a nice feature to add to book wrapper online you know like my licenses yes because we've got my devices or we don't have my devices this nice inventory online uh, in the team we've got my devices I don't see a uh, book wrapper online okay anyways uh, that's something to add so customer will log in and will see their devices then all the repairs with them and then customer can see my licenses yes so if customer will buy something of the repair shop they can have a license over there supplied by the repair shop which is nice I would say then if customer will forget about it or will have to reinstall whole operating system don't have to worry where the license is because we'll go to book repair online .co.uk, log in with their credentials and we'll have their license over there. Simples. Uh, guys, another test which I would like to do, okay, it's playing a game online because we've seen that YouTube didn't bother this laptop too much. But I will go into the incognito mode. Okay. Harsh Parsky, turn on the extension and let's see how it will handle a heavier load and on the graphics and on the CPU and on the RAM especially when we will open additional tab let's begin so we will do my um, the cast this customer is polished so I will log into my Forge of Empires game which is the one which I will log in, it's Polish. I could go to to the US one, but Forge of Empires.com. Yes, don't translate. Don't, don't translate. Just leave it. Now, if I would only remember my password. Like that. Oh, it's incorrect. I'll pause and I will log in. Sorry, I was listening to the sound of the uh, of the fan, but it was actually my PC. I just realized not this one. So, anyways, let's go to the world. Um, I should have collection. I didn't do it, so let's press F eleven. No, just F eleven. No, Control F eleven, Alt F eleven, Functional. Oh, Functional. F11. Okay, that's cool. okay let's close it you can hear the fan oh no i did do the um i did do the collection but we can do other stuff and we can control out delete and task manager and the performance tab so now we see that with only one game running web browser game We've got memory 4.6 gig used, SSD is mild, 0, 1% and so on. GPU, your graphic, yes, it's 40% and CPU is just 20%, let's say 18, 20%. So it's, it's okay, but let's do some fun. Let's open another tab, pl.forge of empires.com let's go to no not not play the game 
and open second world. That's not. Okay, CPU reached the highest peak, but that's okay. Memory now it's 5.2 gigabyte, okay, on a two tab game. Again, this is zero Wi Fi, is okay. CPU is 40%. So, on, to, on two tabs right now, this laptop is on its edge. Now, each tab will add more to its RAM because we've got already over 5 gig of RAM without you know, like extra work, it's just idling in the game then I would say that's a max for this laptop like if you want to be serious, if you want to open like me here i5 9th generation 40 gig of RAM and 1660 Ti graphic card with either NVMe or SSD depending which operating system I'm on uh, well, I'm most of the time on SSD because I'm most of the time on Linux, several times per year only on, on Windows. Uh, yes, you might be asking why I haven't installed Linux on, uh, on NVMe. Ah, that, that doesn't bother me. <clears throat> so, this laptop is for mild usage nowadays. I'm not joking. That's a mild usage. If you will use it for like higher performance like if I would use open it on my all worlds which is too many worlds but you know that doesn't matter if I would open it on all this laptop would stop proper working and would start to use swap file then what's happening because it's used it's reading from the disk not only from the RAM then it's slowing down so this is not great that's for sure. Let's hit escape. Hit escape. Okay. Function F11. Yes, that, that works fine. Let's open another tab. Forge of empires.com. No. And I want to copy it this time to not go and open it again and again and typing by hand and let's open another one just for fun you know why not no and now this started to have higher peaks memory went up to 6.6 .6 gigabyte already with those two more tabs and you can hear the sound but is it an abnormal sound no that's a regular laptop sound. now we can make a test Okay, we get a fun back. Okay, 
Okay, so what is happening? It's disabling caps. So that power management is not set on the maximum performance. It's set, you know, like uh, not even on the maximum saving of the power, but somewhere in, in between. So that means now each tab is sending and receiving some data okay so if i will switch to this one yes and i'm on this i can do some stuff but it will be more idle when i will switch to another one so th this is not total it's now 6.8 6.9 gig of ram so it is quite high you can see the chart is nearly full. Yes, 6.8. So that's what I said. For the mild usage, will be okay. Yes, for maybe some meeting online, for Skype call, for. Excuse me. And you can code on this. Yes, you can be a web developer on this. Maybe if you'd plug it into an additional uh, screen, you know, that it would use two screens, then it would, of course, reflect that in the performance. But apart from that, it's not bad. I can't see anything abnormal here. I've installed that, um, that how do you call it, Kaspersky. And I'm happy the way it is. I'm only surprised that it was showing, you know, so much battery and suddenly it died, yes? So only that's what for real worries me. Everything else is fine, you know. It's, I, I like the rest. Now, what else here is properties? Excuse me. I don't know if I said I don't like Windows 11. Uh, well, I don't like Windows in general. I'm a more of a Linux fan. That's what I'm using on it as a daily driver, you can call it. So, yes, 8 gig of RAM, i5, 8th generation. That's it. Guys, I, I don't want to spend more time on it because there's nothing to it. Not, no abnormal activities on this laptop. I'm happy the way it's working in what it's capable of. We've installed Kaspersky Internet Security. We've made a test to six gig of RAM, 6.8 or 6.9. So. I didn't want to overload the RAM, that's why I didn't want to open anymore. Um, but in general, it's a, it's stable work. Only on the 4K resolution, we see that the, the graphics don't work so well that you can pull 60 frames on it. Yes, it just no can do, no can do. So if customer wants any better performance of it, the only thing what you can do really is upgrade the RAM. And in some of the cases, it will gain something. In some of the cases, actually it won't. So I need to speak to the customer what that person will do on this laptop first. Excuse me. Apart from that, this laptop is ready to use. I don't see any abnormalities. Uh, I will ask customer if customer wants anything else. But I would say that's it. You know, guys, we, we can't do anything. Uh, we spent 49 minutes on this recording, by the way. So let's open this because this came. That's from what I think that's a Ticon board for the Polaroid TV. I've recovered the sound on it, now it's the time for the video. My precious. 
I have no why not. I love just fix stuff. That's why not. Nobody normal want to do it. Apart from kids. Kids like to tinker, do stuff, you know. But regular people know. So either I'm a child or I'm not. You, you can pick it. You can pick it. We're trying to teach one person that is out of the IT world, completely out of IT world, not mentioning electronics, okay? We're trying to teach that person to book. Oh, come on. I love it. I literally love it. You've got two choices. If you don't disable automatic updates on the system, you've got two choices, yes? You can either update and shut down, estimate five minutes, or update and restart, estimate five minutes. You don't have a choice of, you know, like, I don't want to do it now, I'll do it later, yeah? So we need to go for extra hassle and learn how to disable automatic updates and switch these automatic automatic updates off because if you won't do it windows will force you to do it and then you're in a rush you want to go somewhere and guess what you need to update and shut down or update and restart or you want to now restart quickly because you need to do something and you need to wait for the update to finish. I love Linux. I accept Windows. But guess what? The customer likes it. I'm happy for the customer. So we got a Ticon board, Ticon board for the Polaroid. We need to install it and see if the control board on the display needs extra attention, like we see signals or other signals. Okay, let's shut down. Um, and see if those extra signals, I mean extra, just signals, you know, come and corrupt it from the IC which is driving it. Or, um, that's it, job done and Polaroid TV fixed. I can't go to that job right now because boys are sleeping in the room and I didn't pull that TV out of the room. Excuse me. So I will do that job tomorrow. Uh, I will have to speak to the customer as well when he wants those four laptops done. Apart from that, I'm happy to give it back to the customer after those updates. And plus I need to get the license for the Kaspersky still. So yeah. We hear that those, uh, how you call it? Those RPMs of the fan, they are not abnormal. That's, that's a natural speed. It doesn't go to any extremes. My talk was louder than the fan, so. Guys, thank you for watching. Uh, there is nothing to it, literally. Nothing. We will just waste time. You know about another job, Polaroid. And guys, I've got few jobs, which I can tell you just, you know, like, coincidentally. This OD amplifier should be checked by customer the customer here was a problem with audio on the recording on the mm magnet moving magnet moving magnet yes on the phone so i've done recovery on the potentiometers on the switch actually and i would say that it's it's okay but i don't know if it's okay like fully recovered or is like 40 percent of recovery it's just my way of 
like seeing it as a 40% recovery but it sound okay so I don't know if that's the level of the sound which is worse or it's just my assumption so I was asking for to that custom I was asking that customer to check it out for me he didn't come till date he's just busy so that's one job I don't want to you know put my time into that if there is no need that's the thing I've got a radio for Hyundai not finished I don't have time uh, I've got a JDC TV here just lying because I've got no time I've got Xbox one finished for the customer he should come today or tomorrow we will see uh, I've got a laptop ready for the customer customer don't reply to my text messages I will try to call try to contact but why bother I just want to give him you know like here you are that's your laptop you don't have to pay me or anything he gave me some stuff so I would just help him out and I would just give it but he need to pick up his phone because <laughs> um, he never left me his address if he would leave me his address I would of course go and just drop it off so yeah there are a few jobs which are just you know can't be finished I, I didn't cut my grass if you would go in front of our house the grass is not cut it and tomorrow I would like to do some stuff but I need to go to uh, to the kit on the transition day so I will have one and a half to two hours extra taken out of my day routine another customer pointed out to me that the seat belt is not pulling properly and you would say what well, that has to do with me well I was the culprit for that because I was mounting the re reverse camera for that guy so I was tinkering with his stuff <laughs> and, but anyways you know so these small bits and bobs they are occupying your time and you can't do certain jobs they are just lying and I've got over five Xboxes in that wardrobe I've got PS4 which is lying for months I've got other stuff which is lying and I've got no time for it uh, so yeah you, you're reaching the point that you've got more jobs that you can handle and I need to go through them literally my washing machine downstairs one of two now because I bought a second one uh, it's open the seal is just lying at the top I need to find the time to go out of those major jobs and go out and mount the seal put everything back together test it and see if it's leaking the water or not anymore yes or there is something else but the seal was damaged so fingers crossed it's only the seal so at least if it's in a one piece it doesn't occupy more space you see it's, it's a lot of those small jobs which you just have to do and you've got no time so guys you've got some extra from me today these are buttons to xbox one s controller i'm waiting on the customer which is supposed to come and i supposed to change it i wouldn't even charge the customer just come we paid for these buttons i will just mount them to you no customer didn't show up i'm waiting on the customer maybe you will come you know it's like a 10 minute job or something <laughs> but it is what it is you know let's let's fight for the right repair let's fix them more and let's pick them up when we when we get them fixed take care guys see you in the next video Ta da